Hey guys, just me with another video. I wanted to jump in here at the beginning to let you know to pay attention to this video. It's a lot of learning and I put a lot of footage into one video here. It's a longer video and I apologize uh, for that, but there's a lot to learn here. I want you guys to pay particular attention to how I'm holding the drywall, how we're using, how we're moving it from place to place, how I'm standing it up. We're using 12 foot 5 8 sheets here and um, uh, they're really tricky to, to learn how to move by yourself, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna show you lots of techniques on how to be, how to lift the sheets. Um, working by yourself and with a and a bit with a partner okay um, at the very end of the video if you stay to the end of the video you can watch the time-lapse video that I put together on us doing the tops so you can see how we set up the sheets to do the tops and, and lift them up to the and set them into the lift oh, oh whoops that's okay I can edit that out First thing you do is you gotta remember you gotta check your layout. We already know our layout. Just make sure the sheets don't land like say an inch away from the ends or something stupid like that. Uh, and you gotta stagger your joints on double layer. So check that as well. We know where ours are gonna land. We are, we just did the other side, so it's um it's gonna be perfect. So yeah, check your uh, your ends. Check your layout. <clears throat> If you need to adjust your studs, if it's the first layer, first time, then then do it uh, when you're when you're doing the first side, right? Uh, but we're already at past that stage, so everything's good. Uh, so never start with the cut-ins either. Uh, you always want to start with the sheets in the wall and cut back in towards the walls. That way you can perfectly laser in a sheet and screw it off. Make sure it's good. And then uh, you can put, then you just, you know, you just start putting sheets up. It's pretty easy. All right, so we'll start standing them up. So yeah, the second step <laughs> is to clean your bottom track. Make sure there's nothing on the, on the floor that'll get caught behind your drywall when you're screwing it in and bust it out. for underneath the drywall to um, get it off the floor okay this is a half inch piece of steel it's a perfect size I've had it for years you want to 
normally set it on the just on the inside of the center of the of the uh, on our inner case for two foot centers. You want to just set it off center so that the sheet falls into the bevel. The first sheet, I'm just going to put it right at the stud, so it's in the middle a little bit, so I can move it if I need to. First sheet, we want it secure. At the bottom here, you can tell that. Sorry. I don't screw in where the spacer is. I take it out before I put screws in where the spacer goes because it'll get stuck if you do that, right? And you go one inch in from each bevel and then uh, two in the middle, two in the field, right? Usually on the, like an inch on either side of the stud. Uh, mark every two feet with your um, uh, with your first layer, okay? Yeah, so when you're doing your second layer, you're also gonna mark every two feet, and then at the finish, you're gonna put another set every foot, so in between. Uh, field screws, knee, waist, uh, chest, and a reach, or every 16 inches. And yeah, laser line, right? You can see the laser. And we're gonna cut into this wall, right? That'll be the, that'll go in after. Get off the stop in this point. 
I, if I forgot to mark the stud uh, when I started, so I just used the router to mark it. And I'm going to put the laser in the center, of course, right? Uh, cheat, I'm going to cheat it a little bit back from the center, this way, but just a, just a hair. Yeah, there you go, it's good. I see the laser on the hole there. Yeah, no, that's mint. She's mint. Hopefully the second one will be. And like I say, take the bottom spacer out before you finish screwing off the bottom or it won't, like it'll be hard to come out and it might break the bottom of the, of the drywall. And as I remember, you're screwing in like your knee, your waist, your chest, and a reach. Put the spacer just past the center so the sheet can fall into place. So say the bevel like does bust out a bit, just use the end of your knife and pound it back. Okay. See, I get the corner in and then tilt it into the other sheet. And if you have your streets off center, it'll just tilt in.
Alright guys. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about drywall. If you have any questions at all, leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to everybody. This is Chris. Bye for now guys.